top 10 bluff party songs. Um, I've heard a little bit about the dance. Never really scoped them out, honestly. I've heard that one song that goes like... You know, I've heard it in pop culture. I believe, I believe that's a big hit, so um, let's scope it out. That's probably number one though, so there we go. Still have to search it up though, so there we go. Uh, I haven't really listened to them outside of that, so we're gonna see what's on the list. It's three years old, so it's actually quite old. If the camera can go fucking straight. No, so there we go. like electronic and stuff. Based on a combination of the artist's fan favorites. <laughs> like eating glass. And their most commercial. And that's a great uh, that's a great title. Number ten, hunting for witches. I'm probably gonna look up the ratings. Not really, but there we go. Uh, block party. So you're calling it good, but it's generic. So what is it? Watch my job, watch it. And they almost have no, uh, oh yeah, they have. Ooh, that's not good, that's not good. Ooh, that's not good. Oh my god. Uh, they were like, decent at the beginning, and then they went really, really downhill afterwards. They had, a good, they had a great debut, had a decent follow-up, mediocre third one, mediocre fourth one, which I just called four. And then two records later, they two and a half, Jesus. Alright, so Block Party is pretty shit, <laughs> according to the ratings. Serious? Probably not it's really gonna touch me. Starting with minimal drums and guitars, and ending with vocal trade-offs between Kelly Okereke, guitarist Russell Lissack, and bass player Gordon Moe. Alright, and that never will look nice. Which ends up being a highlight of their stellar debut album. According to critics, their best ones, there we go. Oh, what is this? Like a generic Asian boy buying the kit. Number eight, octopus. Jesus Christ. They have like static in their song and it actually works as a progression or something. It doesn't work but they use it. Jesus Christ. Alongside fast paced guitars. Uh, yeah, I don't like this. I actually thought they were good, but they actually they're actually pretty shit. Which was also pretty mediocre. According to critics. And that's alright. Oh, this sounds pretty good. Pretty nice lick. 
uh, but that's about it. Only the ending was pretty good, and the rest of the song was pretty static, so not really for me. Number seven, like being black. Uh, they probably don't even have like a, uh, a parent, parental advisory, ad advisory explicit sticker on that debut disc. If they don't have that, Jesus Christ. Yeah, they have. <laughs> um, what a surprise. That, that's actually the only album by them that has the parental sticker on it. <laughs> probably because of this, uh, this song. Jesus Christ. Just a title, man. <laughs> did, did I see that right? Did I see that right? Oh, put on some close Asian boy. I'm not sure racist. Fuck off. Uh, <laughs> they have a fucking Pikachu plush on uh, by the speakers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And they have like um, a Puma Matada or something. You know, that fucking. that weasel from the Lion King as well. I believe. Uh, they're not that bad, but. just come on, man. They're just kind of bland, in my opinion. Kind of a shitty discography as well. I don't really like the the second album's nature, mellow parts, and the cover's really great. I think the the highway, the sophomore ever, I guess. I I do really love the uh, the debut as well, the the cover of that. Really like a snowy kind of white background with some trees. Really nice, but that's about it. Terrible man, them kissing or something. Fuck no. <coughs> the lyrics do talk about being in the German capital, but it's also rumored to be about looking for true love as well as wanting to sleep around. So what? Ah, uh, it's really boring, huh? Boring in my opinion, but that's me. Number five. Number five. This modern love. It's all from the first two albums. Not everything, but four, I believe, and implicitly. This song is rumored to be about a guy who loves a girl, but the girl is too scared to love him back. How is that even possible? The, if the guy's in love with you, just say that you're in love as well, or deny him. Don't go in like a cringy crush stage or something, or a friend zone. It's like the worst thing you can do. This modern love wasn't released as a <coughs> single, but it did get featured in an episode of How I Met Your Mother, which introduced right. the band sound to an even wider audience. Oh. I've actually heard this song. I've watched that, um, I believe the first season of How I Met Your Mother, so there we go. I haven't really continued since because it's all basically the same, you have not like nine seasons. It's possible to finish, but I'm a lazy motherfucker. <laughs> this is from 4. No, 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 implicitly. Oh, it's a single. I use like auto tune in this one, Jesus. It's not even that good, Jesus. You no, know, it was like a 
like uh, when it did debut it, I believe in the um, in the late nineties and the early two thousands. It was actually used by Daft Punk. It's really the only thing that I like about it. Um, and they actually used it right because they had like aliens and shit outer space, and they actually used it to have sort of a, uh, a spacey kind of uh, alien alien vibe to it. So that actually really worked. It worked in my opinion, but. Ever since that, it just went downhill from there, Jesus Christ. At least I've, I haven't really heard anything like it though, ever, uh, after ever since. I've heard, I've heard uh, Stephen Wilson using it on um, the Raven that reviews the same one, you know, on that, on that album, the, the self-titled one. Um, so that, I, I really love that, it's actually one of my favorite albums of all time. And Discovery. It's used on two great records, but that's about it. But it paid off for them commercially. The song made the UK top 10, despite not originally being on one of their albums. I'm kind of bored with this right now. Um, there's actually something that I want to talk about, like, um, in my stream, but I'm gonna say it now anyway, and probably pick it up again on my stream. There's actually somebody that commented today, commented today that um, that he needed subtitles for me. I was like, really? Am I am I not speaking clear right now? I'm pretty sure I am, but anyway, I'm not the most comfortable right now. But I'm speaking very very clearly right now. I think. But but if not, then don't watch me. Fucking dipshit. Deleted the comment though because fuck no, that that is just being disrespectful, really. Not even talking that vaguely. It wasn't a prop rock video. I was really mellow in that video, pretty pretty boring, but you can still understand what I'm saying. I've improved ever since, but. Number three. Number three. Signs. I got down downhill so quick in my opinion. This is one of the band's most unconventional tunes, as Signs' rhythm was based around a glockenspiel and a percussion <laughs> instrument which originated from Africa. That's right. Next song. Uh, this is from Saturn Alarm, I think. Sounds pretty rocky. Number two, helicopter. Yeah, there we go. They actually sound pretty rocking on their debut. Nice debut. But that's about it. That's a pretty good song. Pretty rocking. How long was the video already? Ooh. It's kind of an iffy riff, but there's a nice tone to it. What I mean with that, it was a nice idea to put that riff on there, but I think the riff is too bland. It's a little bit too repetitive for me. And it just sounds too weak, in my opinion. If, if you have a little bit more reverb or a little bit more raw power on it, I think it could have worked. But the riff just didn't really carry the song, so there we go. It's kind of more static. Mercury, Intimacy. What is this video? Like a cow with a crap hammer? So what the fuck? 
Sunday, a weekend in the city. Now, this sounds like a good arm, really. Sounds alright. Um, SRXT, a weekend in the city. Yeah, so they have like two good records and two mediocre ones and two bad ones. So there we go. And they have like an Asian drummer and a black uh, lead singer. Not being racist there, but it's kind of like a ra race band or something. <laughs> they have like a different fucking person. How am I gonna say this? <laughs> um, they have like a different version of every race or something. Not being racist, it's just literally how it is. I actually skipped her a bit. Uh, positive tension from Sander Alarm. I believe that whole album is on there already. Oh, actually. <laughs> there was like a chick on, um, on like shoulders of the crowd. She was like arms naked and it was like her, bro her little brother or something besides her. Fucking hell. In the prayer we can then see. Yeah, this song. It's probably from Saturn Alarm. There we go. And this is the only song I've heard from them. This is the track that defines what Block Party is all about. It's a bit repetitive for me, but. Or Mars Harmonies. It's a little bit too generic for my taste, but it's, it's their best song for sure. It's a rocking song. It doesn't really do it for me though, but... It's not strong though. It gets me going, so. Do you agree with our list? The prayer. Which party song is your all-time favorite? Mm, yeah, probably the bank of one. Entertaining top tens published every day. Be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Octopus. Uh they, they actually look like death rock to me, like they, they're trying to be relevant again, but they're not really. Um, so they're alright, I thought they were better because, you know, they were actually like an acclaimed band or something from this decade. But they're actually like really bad now, so there we go. Um, you can request Sound and Alarm, we get in the city, uh, Infamacy, Intimacy, I don't know, a 4. Yeah, they're, they're actually their arm tiles are really easy to remember, so there we go. Uh, so there we go, uh, let me know what you think about Block Party. I'm not the biggest fan of them, but maybe you can convince me otherwise. There we go, hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, follow me on Melstorm, on Music, on all the other shutter ones from the Future Lights one. Let me know what you thought about this one, and I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless you, take care, and peace.